Are you in focus? Uh -huh. right. Episode 21. Hi, we're the Vimmer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop with ourselves, our two little kiddos, and our two cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. So welcome to episode 21 of VPS. Virtual boat shopping for our dream loop boat. And today, what are we looking at, Mark? We're gonna go to Tariano and look at the uh, 2005 Azimuth 55A. Uh, how do you say E in English? I think you say a E. In English or Italian? In E. In Italiano, I think you said E. Anyway, a 55E. Azimuth. Oh, let's talk about Azimuth. Beautiful boat. Okay. One of our favorite boats, an Azimuth Magellano. Very, That's a cool boat. Very, very hard to come by. Just a great combination of Italian design and looks with more cruisability. Classic Azimuth, as with a Ferretti, is going to be very tight on space. European boats are known for extremely small engine rooms, very small and tight bathrooms, and very limited galleys. Other than that, it's going to be perfect for the <laughs> loop. <laughs> okay, so let's. Okay, and why did you pick this one? Just because you love Azimuths? Uh, I, I like to say Azimuth, Azimuth. You know, it's, uh, it's how you look. It's not what you're doing, really, is what's going on with the azimuth. But there's some out there, and it might be with the hot boat market, it might be something that we're going to have to look at. Okay, so in car terms, mm -hmm. if the Nordhaven is the Land Rover Defender, the Marlowe is the classic Range Rover. Then the azimuth would be a Maserati, smaller Maserati. It's not a Ferrari. The Ferrari would be a Pershing, probably. So I would go with some Italian car that's not super fast, but kind of An tight. Alfa Romeo? Alfa Romeo, possibly. That's good. All right, so let's take a look. It's not shippy. It's... It's not shippy at all. It's speedboaty. So this one's a 2005 55E in North Miami, Florida for $499,000. Okay. We've got a dimension length overall of 57.5 inches. So this boat is right like right where we need to be on size for insurance. Okay. The beam is 15.7. That does not get a dance. Mm -mm. The draft is four feet. That does get a dance. Because what do we have to be? Uh, so to do the Great American Loop, you must be under 19 feet, six inches from the water to the top point of Which, your boat. Which, by the way, bridge clearance, 16 feet. So we okay. can go all the way up into some of the spots of stuff. Chicago River. Yeah, and you cannot be any deeper than six feet, preferably less than five feet. We would love to be like four and a half feet, and this is four feet. So yep. that qualifies for all of that. If you look at the, the displacement weight of 52,000 pounds, it's not, a, it's not a poorly built boat. It's heavy. So uh, that's about the same as a Hatteras. It's got caterpillars, which, you like. which we like. Cruising speed, 26. Max speed, 30. We're getting out of the way of a storm yeah, there. Yeah, get up and boogie. Three cabins, two heads, uh, holding tanks. This is where she's going to be really light. Uh, fresh tanks, 169 gallons for water. Fuel tanks, 600 gallons. Like we the need Marlow to, had 2,000 gallons. Yeah, we need to be able to get, I think, 300 miles. So at a mile per gallon, you're you got plenty of fuel. The holding tanks, if they're going to be with the Tudor, five people on board at 70 gallons, that is a Detriment. Now, some people have commented that just plumb larger holding tanks. I don't. I didn't know that was possible. Maybe is that, that gray is. and black water combined. Like I don't think they break it out. I don't know. All right, so let's look. I don't know anything about uh, stabilizers or anything like that. I d this is a moderate. It's a planing hole, but I think it's a fairly deep V planing hole. Yeah, I like the bunny pads up front. Yeah, this is a. You're out in your bikini boat. This is just whatever. It's a, a sexy boat, uh huh? Mom. No I'm going to do the loop. I'm going to be out there with my two kids and our cats. Mmm. <laughs> oh. All right. Not That doesn't help okay. much. There's your bunny pad. There's So there's walk around. We're going to need to put netting. So what I've seen on a lot of these boats where if they don't have a curb up here, like some of the Flemings or trawlers or such, we're going to have to figure out with this guy wire here a way to get that white meshy stuff and zip tie it or something like that. All around all of that so nobody goes I don't want to go all the way up to here though. I just want to go to here. Why not? Because this then acts as a sail when you're trying to dock. Even though it's mesh? Yeah, it'll still catch the wind. All right, you got a single bow pulpit. I mean, it's, mm. it's yeah, not heavy like, ground tackle. Things are going off that edge. 
Yeah, and this is more like a ski boat than a heavy bow bollard. Bollard, I think. That's the 55. Okay. Decent walk around. Yeah. You're gonna be able to handle all the lines and all the fenders at a lock with this boat. So that, we got that going for us. So this is heavy duty and you have a warping winch here. So while the front bow pleats are pretty wimpy, this is pretty heavy that duty looks here. Beefy. Yep. A you know what this warping winch does? Uh, tell us, Mark. So it's electric. So say you're over at a pylon here, rather than you're gonna you just wrap it around there and go eh. I guess in here is a button and it electrically pulls you. It's the same thing they use on a sailboat. I mean, have you ever felt the need to use for an electric winch on any other boat? Never had it. I know, but you did ever go like, I wish we had an electric winch? I mean, when you, you always do it have every, a winch, but... When you do it every day, maybe. So okay. molded stairs, nice. that's good. With the teak. That looks like the Marlowe shot. Okay, so... I don't like that it's not center line, and it's kind of weird that it's on the port side, but that's all right. This is a big... Lounge. Lounge area. What it, well, you got a Let's navigator see. seat here. And then here, I assume this is the grill. With the heat shield. We have a one thruster. Assuming that's bow. I would assume bow. Okay. This is, I don't think this is Tinder stores because there's not a davit. So I guess this is sun pad or play or something. Which raises the question, where is the davit? Or the Tinder. There's that. A little grill. That's fun. Like two burgers. Right? I love that. Now if this is 16 foot 6 and this is with the radar arch, that's they fantastic. Say, they say the bridge clearance. They don't, they could be that it hinges. True. Alright, now this looks a little better. You know. I mean, I'm not complaining if I'm on this boat, for sure. Okay, this is a stock photo, but there is the galley. But it has fiddles. Okay. Microwave. Now we've right. left the galley and we're on the swim platform. So I, need, I see no way to hold a tender here, so we're going to have to do a freedom Double. lift or something. Well, or you could put a davit up top. Can't you put a davit on it? I, I assume. Okay, so here is helm, center line, I like. Dinette, hangout area, looks like this folds up. And then galley on this side. The serving counter here is kind of cool. These windows open. Okay. I just like a shippy feel better than this. That's that snuggerific. is snuggerific. Okay. You got yoga space. If this gets out of the way in some way. Is that a coffee table? I'm confused as to what we're looking at. Maybe we'll get another view. I like that. But it's got a tiny little steering wheel. But it's clean. Okay. I'm going down. Okay, we got lights. There's the Tudor in the V-Birth. Is it Orchids. me or is that boat? That bed look really high. Oh, Storage underneath. That's some pretty good play space. Yeah. It's, I like the You fixtures. think that's the VIP, not the master. I mean, come on, straighten the pillow. <laughs> that's fun. That's nice light if this is the VIP. Mm -hmm. Maybe this is the master. This has got to be the master. Somehow we've switched. The master has the head, the bed. Oh. Oh, it's a wet bath. A wet bath. That can't be the master. See, okay, I told you, bathroom. small engine room, small bathrooms. Here is the V berth. Okay, but is that the? This is confusing. Is this the master internal light? And That's a kids. good kids room. Sea chest. Okay. For both. Sight glass, from what I can tell. Generator. Polar generator. What's that? <laughs> Ray that, core. Raycor. And it separates your oil, your water from your gasoline. The water from the diesel fuel. Diesel fuel, gasoline. <laughs> They're two different things. <laughs> it's whatever you put in the boat to make it go. This is your area of expertise. Okay, so okay, this, uh, uh, okay, I mean, so see this window. 
So that had to be the master with uh -huh. that one window and then that's, that's I think they got their bathrooms mixed up. I mean, okay, it is a lovely boat. If that was all we could find on the market when we're ready to buy a boat, then it would have to it be. It would be wouldn't be great. But there's other boats I like better. Yeah, and it's tight. I think we'd be all on top of each other. And the outside space, really, there aren't that many spaces to go to. So I feel like we almost need a uh, category, yes, no, maybe, and if all else fails. Yes, if there's nothing else out there. We could totally no, do the loop put, on you this. You just put it in the maybe pile. All right, so maybe? A maybe, but on the bottom of the maybe pile. Okay, so that is the 2005 Azimut 55E gets a maybe. Maybe. Something that's not a maybe, something that's a definite yes would what? be to get some swag. Do you like that tie-in? <laughs> Check out <laughs> oh, theboomershines.com and go to the shop there and there's all sorts of products. Okay, but and it also definite is to like and subscribe if you want more of this nonsense. And we really, really, really love the comments. Love the all the feedback. It's so fun to Give us start. some feedback if anybody owns an azimuth and loves it or finds it really tight. Yeah. Let us know. Yep. And let us know where you're from because it's really cool to know all the different places that people are tuning in from too. So thank you so much for watching and shine on. Thanks for watching.